everybody and in this video we're gonna be talking about trials of cyrus what it's gonna be in destiny 2 what i want it to be in destiny 2 and some information that we have learned about trials of osiris coming to destiny 2. so first things first let's talk about the fact that trials is gonna be a thing a lot of people thought trials would never come back or they thought that it would come out when the trials of osiris dlc came out well should i say the osiris dlc it's not trials not everything is trials when it's about Osiris. Okay, but there was an article that was on IGN where they did an interview with Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy, and Luke Smith said, and I quote, I can't imagine shipping Destiny 2 and not having a Trials-like experience there very soon. Mark Noseworthy then jumped in to give a hint as to just how soon we can expect Trials of Osiris, and he said, like, launch window soon, which is super duper exciting. They were also asked if Trials will arrive before the release of the Osiris-themed DLC, and Noseworthy said that fans can expect it way before that and also stated we've got some cool stuff planned for trials that we're going to unveil later this year so we don't want to give away too much so this was super duper exciting just from hearing them talk about trials it seems like they people at Bungie that is <laughs> have understood that trials was a huge success in Destiny 1, it was something that a lot of people really enjoyed. It's a, it's a thing that people kept going to play over and over again. And they didn't say specifically that Trials of Osiris is coming back. They said a Trials-like experience. So in my mind, there's a few things that that could mean. That could potentially mean that we are getting ranked play. So instead of just having a 9 and 0 card and you go flawless and you get some loot, it might actually be a ranked playlist where we play in a trials like mode that we are familiar with, but instead of it just giving us some cool loot and it being a good time with our friends, it actually leads to some kind of ranking system. So that's exciting to think about the possibility of that being a thing. Also, it could just mean that trials is coming back, but it's going to be a little bit different different than what we have experienced in the past. Now, of course, we do know that Trials of Osiris is for certain going to be 4v4 now, so that's already quite a big change because adding those two extra people in a match of Trials actually makes quite a big difference. I also have a feeling that they'll probably go down the road of using the revive token system that's in Countdown for Destiny 2 because why, why wouldn't they? I think that would be perfect for Trials of Osiris and I think that would actually make it a lot more of a competitive mode than what it was in Destiny 1. If you have a revive token, for example, me, Datto, Patrick, and Ian are playing on a team. One of us goes down. Maybe Patrick's having an off day and Datto's being a god. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to rest Datto and not you, Patrick. I'm sorry. <laughs> It just makes you think a lot more tactically about how you use your revives and of course it also makes it to where if you are just dying you can't just keep reviving, 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 reviving and win the game that way. Now I'm also thinking that when it comes to countdown you can see at the top people's supers and if they're ready. And I'm wondering if that's gonna be in Trials of Osiris, because that's also gonna be a pretty freaking big change if we have these revive tokens, it's 4v4, it's elimination like we know and love that we're very familiar with, but we have those revive tokens, we have the supers being shown to us when they're ready and what they are, and we have 4v4. That's already quite different. What I would really like to see from Trials of Osiris in terms of how it plays, if it is similar to what we have experienced before with trials is I would love to have rotating spawns. Now I know some people will say well just make maps that are balanced. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little easier said than done and I think that a really good way to bypass that oh let's make the most perfectly balanced map ever and that's just going to be our trials maps is that if we flip spawns. If we flip spawns then that's something you don't really need to worry about. Everyone's going to have the good spawn, everyone's going to have the bad spawn and it makes it a lot more fairer. So just hearing the devs talk about trials like experience in Destiny 2 has got me really freaking excited, man, because if they realize how much of a success Trials was, imagine the loot that we could get. Imagine the experience we can have from a brand new Trials-like experience in Destiny 2, and it could be ranked. Who knows? 
it's very possible. But just from playing Countdown and thinking how that could relate to a new Trials of Osiris experience has me really excited for the direction that that mode would go in. It would be a lot more competitive, it would be more balanced, and it would generally just be hopefully a less frustrating experience than what Trials can sometimes be in our current Destiny 1 meta. So let me know in the comment section, guys, after hearing this interview with Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy, what what do you think this Trials-like experience is going to be? Do you think this could be the ranked playlist that we've all wanted for quite a long time? Or do you think it's going to be Trials, but they're going to make some changes to make it obviously feel a little bit different from Year 1 Trials? Let me know in the comment section what you think about all this stuff. I'm super excited. I want really cool loot. I want to be a beautiful butterfly so bad. I think I can be that if I'm a warlock, but I want to be a beautiful war I want to be a beautiful hunter butterfly. I don't think that's possible. I just want to be pretty and have pretty things, okay? Thank you. That's all I want from Charles. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will speak to you awesome people later. Bye.